Staying in the park, a search and rescue team pulled a man to safety from the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. MTN's John Shearer shows us how the man got there and what it took to get him out. It was a difficult and dangerous rescue. Took uh, four 600 foot ropes. This is as far as you can drive toward the interior of the park at this time of year, unless you're on a guided snowmobile or snow coach tour, or if you are on a self-guided snowmobile tour. And that is where this all begins. He had the gear, you know, had a rope, um, had crampons, had my sex. Dave Christensen from Indiana snowmobiled with a friend to lookout point in the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and tried to rappel to the bottom. But he made a mistake. 850 feet down to the river, I think his rope was only 360 feet. So Christensen jumped off his rope and scrambled to the river, but he couldn't make it back to the rope. I had to go through, you know, drifts up to five feet high. While it's sunny here in the park today, there are dangerous wind chill conditions not unlike the kind you get frequently in Yellowstone Canyon. Cold, windy day. One expert was lowered to the stranded man. It was a long, slow haul. A volcanic rock in the canyon breaks easily. There's always potential for, for avalanche danger as well. It took six hours to complete the rescue. There were times where they would fall headfirst into the drifts while we're still pulling up. It was a close thing. What makes this place special is its wildness. Um, but it's got to be respected. Now, the canyon had already been in darkness for about three hours when the rescue was completed. Powell says the man is lucky to have escaped without injury or worse. In Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.